So uh, welcome back in my new A8, A8, A8 uh, and that's it because I have an A6, A6 here and A8 here. So a quick video for showing you how to change uh, to change your bearing into some dry line things. You know, uh, you can find easily in in uh, Thingiverse. I got them on Thingiverse. I put you the link in the video description, and those are really really useful because uh, it's really increased the noise uh, the printer make um, and I want to show you um, something for changing them pretty easily you know uh, because that's hard to remove the bearing for placing dry line so all you need to get is your bearing of course and your um, your thing for cutting I don't know how we say uh, you got it in the package uh, of your 3D printer. Uh, I've got two of them. Oh, the technique, the technique for remove them like so. Okay. Oh, uh, and put new dry line inside. It's pretty easy, you know. So you have to remove this little piece here, uh, which is placed just here. Uh, really hard to remove uh, without uh, something for it. So, all you have to do is to bra uh, br bring uh, this little thing for cutting things, uh, which is uh, included in the package of your 3D printer. And just you put uh, your your um, your thing here, your uh, I don't know, into the little hole here, and you just go get them and now you press at maximal um, maximum and you get them out pretty carefully because um, that can jump everywhere so you just push like that and da done that's get out also uh, sorry for the cutting and the little tips when you print your dry line here you know when you put them and stuff like that, uh, when you have your eight millimeters um, wood, um, they're probably going to not uh, slicing well. So, so uh, what you going to do is to take your dry line with when it's not installed and take um, uh, something to wrap it inside like so. And you put it and you wrap the, um, the right line. So come like that. It can go smoothly uh, inside the dry line and uh, and work perfectly and make no noise. Because at the beginning it's really hard to hard to move them in the wood. So that's it. So uh, when you print some new dry line here, eight millimeters for. Uh, A8, A8 and A6 and you put them inside like so and that's it so you really be careful to push them at the roof uh, the, um, the top of this I don't know uh, the bottom no I don't know uh, and you just retake them and uh, retake this little um, C things you reput your scissors scissor I don't know inside carefully because it's really dangerous and like so really easy you know and that's it done okay just push because uh, it's probably this thing is not enter at all inside so really easy you see up you put that and boom that's it so now you've got to remove your bearings which was making a lot of noise of your 3D printer and you can see it's not making any noise there are dry line inside 3D printed so a boom really easy to make this uh, improvement for your 3D printer so that's it, hope you enjoy this little video and share it for your friend who want to buy or create dry line and install them because it's really difficult to place the dry line inside. 
Uh, at the beginning, uh, when I want uh, to put dry line inside, I wasn't no hole. Uh, we can remove these little C uh, things, you know. Uh, that's really hard, hard, and with this technique, uh, that's really easy. You know, you 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 take your little things you got in your three D printer, and uh, you remove that really easily. Hope you enjoy, and see you next time for another tips in three D printing or other things and bye